Hey, I'm Tosh and today I'll show you how to record great audio on a Zoom H5 with lavalier mics. I'll cover choosing the right mic, hooking it up, optimizing your H5 settings for pro sound, and if you stick around until the end, how to use your Zoom H5 with two, three, and even four lavalier mics. First, let's look at the type of lav mic you'll need. Although you can get cardioid and stereo lav mics, I suggest sticking with mono omnidirectional mics. They pick up sound from all directions, so if you turn your head to one side or the other, your voice will still sound natural and won't suddenly fade or move from side to side. The mic needs to have a 3.5mm TRS jack. That's one with three metal parts where TRS refers to those parts, that's tip, ring, and sleeve. If you have a lav mic with a TRS jack, that's a tip, ring, ring, sleeve jack, that won't work unless it can be switched between TRS and TRS mode, or if you can get an adapter. So, what lav mics would I get? Well, when it comes to mic and audio quality, I've certainly found that the general rule of thumb of you get what you pay for certainly applies to lavalier mics. But budget-friendly options that work with the Zoom H5 include mics like the Boya BYM1 for around $15, the Audio-Technica ATR3350 for around $25, that's the one that I'm using right now, and the Purple Panda mic kit for around $35. Now, for a more premium lav mic, you could choose something like the Rode Lavalier Go for a little under $70. I'll put Amazon USA and UK links down in the description for those mics if you need any of them. To connect the lav mic to the H5 recorder, plug the mic's TRS jack into the gold-coloured socket on the side of the H5's XY mic capsule. But you're not done yet. The mic is going to need power. If it's self-powered, like the Boya BYM1 and ATR3350, just slide the battery compartment button over to the on position. Of course, remember to fit the battery in the compartment first. Non-powered mics like the Rode Lavalier Go need plug-in power, but the H5 can supply that. You turn it on in the H5 menu. Press the menu button on the side, then scroll and select In Stroke Out, then select Plug-in Power, and change the setting from Off to On. You could now start recording, but let's change a few settings to optimize your audio and H5. Again, you'll do this in the menu. First, if you've plugged your lav mic into that 3.5mm socket on the side of the XY mic capsule, you'll want to set the record mode to Stereo. In the menu, select Rec Mode, and then Stereo File. Next, you need to choose the file type and audio resolution, or the recording format. Again, go into the menu, scroll down, and select Rec, and then Rec Format. You can then choose WAV or MP3 file types, but for the best quality, you want a WAV file. You can then also choose the sampling frequency and bit depth to match your project. For podcasts, that probably will be WAV 44.1 kHz 16 bit. But if you're recording audio for a video, choose 48 kHz 16 bit. To capture maximum quality, you could choose 96 kHz 24 bit. Finally, when you're recording to the stereo LNR inputs on the H5, you can also record a safety track that's 12 dB lower than your main recording. That means that if some of your audio accidentally clips and distorts, you can usually save the recording by using the backup track. Now, it's called Backup Record, and again, go to the menu, select Rec, then select L Stroke R Backup and set it to on. You're now ready to record, but let's talk mic placement, levels, 
and monitoring. Now, generally, the best place to have the mic is mid-chest. That's about 6 inches or 15 centimeters from your collarbone. Now, you don't need a ruler to do this. You just need to make an L shape with your thumb and forefinger. Then place your thumb on the top of your collarbone and place your fingertip down there. Where you touch, that's where the um, mic should go. Now, clip it onto your shirt or if you're wearing a T-shirt or a dress, then clip it to the neckline. It'll be slightly close up, but that doesn't really matter. Now, let's move on to levels. I would always say set your level before starting to record for real. Use the control on the XY capsule and check the meters on the display. I aim to peak at around minus 6 dB because I've got that safety backup recording going, but I know others prefer to peak at around minus 12 or even minus 18 dB because then you're not driving the H5 preamps too much. What I also like to recommend is to use headphones to monitor your audio before you start recording for real. That way you can catch any buzzes, background noise or other issues. What you don't want is to finish your recording and only then discover that you've got a problem. And now a final tip. In the menu, you can also turn on effects like low cut filter and compressor, but I leave those turned off and apply them in post-production for more flexibility. The only effect that I might activate is the limiter to catch any spikes in the audio level. Now, earlier, I promised to let you into the secret of recording with up to four lav mics to your Zoom H5. Well, here's how. To connect two lav mics to the 3.5mm socket on the side of the XY mic capsule, you'll need a Y splitter cable, but it needs to be a special type if the audio from your two lav mics is to be kept separate on the left and right channels of your recording, which you'll find will make your editing much easier. I use this stereo breakout 3.5mm TRS to dual 3.5mm TSF cable. As usual, you'll see a link down in the description. Now, you plug your two uh, lav mics into this end, the red and black sockets, and then plug the other end into your H5 recorder. Now, the way that this cable is wired, it keeps your audio separate. Moving on, to record with a lav mic plugged into either of the combo XLR TRS inputs on the base of the H5, that's inputs 1 and 2, you need two things. The first is a 3.5mm to 1 quarter inch adapter, and the second is a self-powered lav mic, because the H5 can't send plug-in power to those combo inputs on the base. And as far as the adapter is concerned, be careful which adapter you get. In my testing, I found that my mono or TS adapter worked, but the mono, sorry, the stereo or TRS adapter, that didn't work. Now we come to recording with four lav mics on your H5 recorder. If you want to record with lav mics plugged into the L and R inputs and into inputs 1 and 2 simultaneously, you'll need to change the recording mode in the menu from stereo file to multi file. If you also want more details on how to record with four mics on a Zoom Handy recorder, I've got another video and I'll put a link up in the corner. To support this channel, remember you can use the links down in the description and also please like, share and subscribe and smash that notification bell to hear when I publish more videos. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep creating.